Hey everyone, welcome back to QuantProf. Today we are going to solve a Citadel quant interview problem. Check the description for more quant interview resources. Let's look at the problem. You start at the bottom left corner of an 8 cross 8 grid. Assume that the bottom left corner is the origin. A landmine is present at every point where both the x and y coordinates are odd. These are denoted by the red points. In one move, you can move one unit to the right or one unit up. You want to reach the top right corner. So you could follow a path like this or like this or like this. So determine the number of paths that move only upward or to the right while avoiding the red points. Pause the video here if you want to give it a try. Here's the solution. Suppose you move one unit to the right. Your next move must also be to the right. Similarly, if you move one unit up, your next move must also be upward. So in one move, you have to move two units in the same direction. Therefore, the problem reduces to determining the number of valid paths from the bottom left corner to the top right corner, where each move consists of two steps to the right or two steps upward. This can be further reduced to the problem of finding the number of valid paths from the bottom left corner to the top right corner, where each move consists of either one step to the right or one step upward, but in a four cross four grid. Let's represent a rightward step as R and an upward step as U. Any valid path in the four cross four grid consists of four rightward steps and four upward steps. So any valid path can be represented by a permutation of four R's and four U's. The number of such permutations is 8 factorial by 4 factorial times 4 factorial, which is equal to 70. So the answer is 70. Let's consider another problem. We have 25 points arranged in this pattern. The distance between any two adjacent points is one unit. We select three points randomly and independently. These points do not have to be different. The same point can be selected multiple times. Then we use these three points to construct a triangle. If A denotes the area of the triangle, what is the expected value of A square? Try to solve this on your own. Hope you liked the video. If you want to learn how to solve these kinds of interview problems, we invite you to check out our course Quant Interview Masterclass, where we teach you how to think when solving difficult problems. We also cover the entire theory specifically tailored for quant interviews, along with over a thousand problems. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. Until then, Godspeed.